Hi there and welcome back to Mega Corps Incorporated, dear friends, where we are trying to beat the game with a totally weird wacko strategy of going tall because we have no choice. We're totally in the minus and we have no clue why and it also isn't clear why because it seems like the computer can't add up the numbers. We've consumed 708? What? That doesn't add up. <laughs> Don't you know? I mean, like 300 and 150 and that couple of the rest, I, that never adds up to 700. So I guess we're in the plus and we're calculating better than a computer. That's because we're one of the human superiors. Whoop. Whoop. Here we go. Yeah. One of the even expanded human elite here one of the human superiors we are so erudite our brain is basically bursting our ability to go for menial tasks we cannot take out the trash oh no we have people for that we have people for that we have definitely other people for that because we're not good at taking out the trash we're good at at shining and also we need new people not to take out the trash, but we want new people. The Akano. They are so so open to everything. Look, they're adaptive and quick learners and they lear need to learn something. They need to become really great at something. And uh, yeah, no, adaptiveness is not what, what is needed anymore, Akanos. But I'm sure you will make you will make great people. And uh, we want to make them master agrarians, basically. For that, we need... Well, agrarian would help, right? <laughs> then we have these special traits here. Robust helps with resources from jobs. Um, and that is... Probably one of the best choices here. Fertile could help the drilling. Um, let's look into the strong direction. Yeah, we have worker output plus 5% there again. And that's good. And we have one trade point left and two picks left. So we could theoretically go for something that gives us minus. I mean, repugnant. Mm, I'm always doubtful of that. Slow breeders, we don't really want slow breeders. We don't also want like quick breeders, but we could go communal or we could go, uh, we don't want them as leaders really. And so they can be fleeting or something like that. They won't be slow because that doesn't fit with their uh, history, but they can be fleeting. That's all right. And then let's see what we we can get for that. Is that even better than we could give them charismatic? No. Makes no sense to me. Thrifty, intelligent. No, 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 no. Not at all. I think we're just going to make them communal and that's it. So that's that's the uh, agricultural Akano. Agricola Akano, Agricole Akano, and Agricola Akano. There we go. If any of you guys know Latin, probably it's some, then you know. That's just, that just means um, like you're a rural worker or something like that. A, a peasant, a, a pawn, uh, I'm no, not a pawn. Oh my god. Yeah. Let's talk about something else. Apparently, I know better Latin uh, than English. So, <laughs> let's apply that template, but not right now. Let's see what we have. In four months, we'll apply that template. And I've also noticed that once I go into that and, and look into a species and then go into that planet view, everything starts rocking around. That's pretty odd but whatever <laughs> let's have a look maybe we have the vault of acquisitions mm. 
there's something here. We already have that big trade value. Do we still can build the Galactic Stock Exchange? That would be great. That is just great. There we go. Also expanding, as you can see, uh, as you cannot see because we cannot scroll down. We can now scroll down. Expanding our stations. Upscaling complete. Oh, even greater trade. Ah, love is intersolar. Mega Sun finished the construction queue. Um, no, not Mega Sun. Earth. Um, Mega Sun Mars. Yes, Mars. Mars. And we want to give them in the agriculture districts because we need food. Look, we need farmers. Already have one farmer. There might be more coming. I mean, farmers is what we need first. So let's just build another one. I hope this doesn't stay that way. Otherwise, we'll have a problem. Might be one of these random updates of the. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, because I'm I'm playing in the beta branch because it's it's interesting to to stay up to date that that way, and it also makes the game even better. Look, so we're in the plus of consumer goods. That is really cool because really energy credits just don't cut it anymore. Because of inflation, I talk about this like every video, but ah, uh, what? Uh, Energy credits are basically worth nothing anymore. Aha, uh -huh, they are opening the borders. Alpha Centauri Prime finished its queue. Three housing available. Mm. Alloy Mega Forges or. Well, let's go research complexes first. Upscaling complete. We're all about research, basically. Alpha Centauri Prime, or the Gamum Starbase. Yeah, has finished its construction queue. Nice. So, yeah, we're all about the trade, baby. Um, don't take this personally. Or do. Hydroponics Bay, and then upgrade. Or the Gamum. And then this will be oh no uh, yeah uh, we 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 back Research backed it we changed that so there we go the Baderians is now the rival of the Twaxeldar and we have the eco integration studies habitability goes up by five percent additional study into different planetary climates will allow us to settle our population on worlds previously thought too hostile to support them so I mean it, it, it makes just a lot of sense for oh that's that's good but it's expensive we need more other things to go for like that the cyto revitalization centers or even that, but that already gives us a Gene Warrior army. I don't think it's that attractive. Same goes for frequency tuning. So, Cyto Revitalization Centers might go into that. I'm not really sure. Amenities and pop growth speed. Mm. But let's see who is. Yeah, Mildred Dressel House. Also not good for them. Stephen Hawking. We might just use Stephen Hawking now in the labs. Lena Westergaard Howe and Christiane Nischlein Folhard are already in the labs. Yeah, let's start. this is the time of Hawking. Hawking is now going over to the labs. And so we need someone else in the Mega Grissom. John Tyler Bonner. Also, I want to look. Now, we have one in New Schwabenland. That's good. One in Ingolstadt. One in Mega Earth. One in Sirius. One in Alpha Centauri Prime. We might need more in the habitats, I'm just saying. Where are the habitats? And do they have something... For example... Here we've got at least in Ether of Mercury, we've got some reasonable research. Mm, even more so in Sirius 2. Yeah, Sirius 2 is what needs something. 
So I think we're just gonna build two research ships. Uh, science ships, I mean. And we're gonna look for two new leaders to send out. Scientists, you know. Ooh, look at that. Critic Hukatkin, uh, the genius. Wow. Why don't we have our super elites, my god. I mean, we have that Psyonics guy here that is very interesting, but uh, they are also expensive, and what can they do? Nothing. Go away. Well, let's recruit the, the geniuses, I guess. They're not erudites, though. How good can they be? We need human primes, come on. Not going that way. Psionics. Not really interested in psionics. And we have, ooh. Oh, 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 Albert Myers. Ah, synthetic happy bot. That would also be a good, good choice. That guy. Go away. Ah, that's so terrible. Really. Anomaly research speed. I just, I just think we're gonna go for these two guys here. And once the ships are ready, bring them into the ships. <sighs> there should be more opportunities. I mean, we would really like to revive more people. Uh, it's not going to go that way. So we either have to forbid them to become leaders, which would lead to problems. Upscaling complete. Or, mm, I mean, we could do it. Here, no, we'll rename them. We'll rename them differently because yeah, there's there's uh, something going on. Mm. Uka Lung Shash is uh, Winka. Gullion. I'm just choosing absolutely random names. It has absolutely nothing to do with <laughs> any people I know, you know? Absolutely nothing. We just have it is just a ra might be a, just a random reference to geniuses. To some geniuses I happen to know. Where's the ships now? Come on. Mm -hmm. Broke off their research agreement with the Karamna Republic. That's interesting. Uh, and that's good for us. And we might just build more our favorite thing. I mean uh, eighty-nine. That's the Badirian Empire for you. What do we have here? Rubalius. Have we built something there yet? In Shugashi? Yeah. Not that great yet. Album. 50, we have something there, yes. Lithia. Oh, look, that's, that's quite good. I don't know, I don't know how the distance works here. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. 
Cost 935. That's cool. Yeah, then let's go to Sithgosh. Establish another. Branch office and go for the private research and the public relations firm. Instantaneously. That's so cool. Yeah, I've calculated it around a bit, and I think Research everything up to class. around 75 or 100 is, is pretty good. And we've got new face disruptors. Look, that that's the, our favorite weapon. Extremely high dis yield disruptors that fire quantum energy charges, causing incredible damage to those unfortunate enough to get in their way. Mm, energy credits from jobs. That's cool, too. Oh, the jump drive. The jump drive. The jump drive, it's rare and dangerous. That's not something we can resist. That's not at all something we can resist. Upscaling complete. Mega Sun has completed the queue. Now I have two ships, and we want to get them to either of Mercury, which is uh, in the Mega Sun system. Mega Hubble. And another Mega Grissom, is that true? Second. Grissom. We have that too. I think it was Series 2, yeah? Mega winds. Have we really assisted research here too? Yes. Um, with that we have it. With that we have it. Yeah, nice. Very good. Ah, we need to find some opening for more human prime leaders because they are just so good. And oh, 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 yes, um, the site of revitalization centers. Before we do that, we won't really need them. Before we do that, let's start a template here for the Agricola Arcanos. Situation log revised. Yeah, that's what we'll finish. That's what we started this time, and that's what, what we will finish in this episode too. The Akano upgrade. Then we can go for another upgrade of species in the next episode, because that's what we do. We manipulate Upscaling complete. everything. Serious habitats complete. Three housings, that's true. Oh, look at that production, and that's just one research. District. Might go for more habitats. So many energy credits. But as long as we have still um, branch offices for 50 or less, It's kind of pointless at the moment, again. Yeah, the things you learn. Ups 
scaling complete. Nice. Alpha Centauri finished that, and then we have time to upgrade this to a Paradise Dome. Either of Mercury needs something. Some employment. Oh, look, Jupiter Habitat. Six five Habitat. The currents this spoilers, why do you cover yourselves in strange textiles? Are you hiding something? Why are you simply ashamed of your unfortunate appearance? We are not ashamed of our unfortunate appearance. Appearance? You're talking about appearance, you one-eyed freaks. My god. We're offering you a free face upgrade. So that you can face reality for once. Not that one-dimensional stuff you might see. We have the Agricola Arcano now ready. We have something going on serious. Let's build more districts. We're totally up for that. And then after that we might remove a dense jungle. Generator district, agriculture districts. Let's remove that thing. Series Prime is so good. So let's plan for the next upgrade. The Arcanos were what we wanted. Then for the next one, we have the Rackets to upgrade and we have this to settle on. Very nice. Thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. This is Immanuel Khan signing out. We're looking towards a great future, friends. Let's realize it. Excellent, truly excellent you are. And we will be together.